Blessa, I'm back to share what I think you must own before journaling. Number one, any kind of paper. This is pretty much self-explanatory because obviously you'll need a paper to write on. You also want to use any kind of paper to design your creative journal. I collect any kinds of paper like a page from a book, I don't use this book though. I purposely bought it from a second-hand bookstore for a cheap price to use on my creative journaling. I also keep a page from newspaper. I use brown paper, laid paper, anything really. I guess you know now why this channel is called The Paper Lover. <laughs> well, you know, fun fact, I also love to smell papers. It's just so addicting. Number two. Writing instruments Now that you have a paper to write on, of course, you'll need a writing instruments like pens, pencils, brush pens, or even a quilt if you feel like it. I have this antique looking feather quilt which I really love and I feel like I'm living in 1800s. <laughs> Also, I personally love this classic Tumbo brush pen I bought on Shopee for only 110 pesos, I think. But I'm telling you, it really feels good to write in this brush pen. Number 3. Notebooks and fillers Of course, like paper, you'll need notebooks to put your journal entries on. The good thing about it is it's um, binded in easy to carry. It's just good to know that in this notebook, you're able to pour your feelings, experience, and creativity out. One thing I like about fillers is you can customize your cover and make a journal out of it. But I still haven't tried that one. Number 4. Washi tapes. I think this is the most common one when you need something to design your journal. Honestly, I wasn't into washi tapes before and now I just can't stop collecting them because just look at them. I personally love this vintage newspaper design and this renaissance painting washi tapes. Number 5. Stickers Yes, stickers will never go out of style. Your journaling experience just wouldn't be complete if you don't have stickers. I personally like collecting vintage ones because that's my style and theme. I really love putting stamps on my journals and especially on envelopes because that's where they belong. Number 6. Stamps As I've said before, my theme in journaling is vintage-y and antique -ish. So using stamps changed my journaling game. When I combined washi tapes, stickers, and stamps, it's just, ugh, it's pleasure in my eyes. I also use them on envelopes because why not? Number 7. Pictures Of course pictures are essential in journaling. There's really no need for explanation about this because pictures are needed in journaling because it makes it more personal, especially when you developed it. Well, it's much better if you use Polaroids. Well, you know, it's my dream to have a Polaroid camera. I mean, I could try to get one, but it's the film I'm worried about because they're hell expensive and I'm on a tight budget. Number 8. Wax seals and wax stamps. This is actually optional, but if you haven't tried wax sealing, well, you're missing out a lot. Besides, who wouldn't want to try this? It's just so satisfying to stamp that melted wax. <laughs> Number 9. This is actually just a bonus, storage, or organizer. Of course, once you've owned those 8 supplies, 
you'll need a storage to keep them. I like things organized, so I also invested in these things. Of course, I have my washi tape organizer. There's almost no space anymore, so I should really stop buying washi tapes. <laughs> and I have this England box, and I store all my journaling and art supplies in it. And I also have this clear plastic zip bag, and I stuff all my stickers in it. This is where I also keep my envelopes. So there you go, there are the journaling supplies I think you should own and if you're looking to start journaling, I suggest you head over to Shopee because there are so many cheap and great finds there. That's where I also bought most of my supplies and I promise you'll not regret it. I'll link in the description my favorite stores to buy supplies from. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again in the next video.